So today we're here at, uh, at FOSDEM, um, to be exactly at the end of, uh, of, of the FOSDEM event, uh, it's, uh, it's Sunday. And uh, well, Pascal came by, Pascal Blazer here in the LPI room, and uh, I had a chance to grab him and ask him some questions here about the FOSDEM event. First of all, um, FOSDEM is, has been around a long time. Which, uh, which edition is this? Um, edition 11. Edition yeah. 11. Yeah. So that's very 2011 edition. So you started right. in 2000. Yes. All right. How 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 many people did uh, uh, visit Fostem? Yeah. So as we don't have any um, beaches because we don't entrance is free and no registration, but our very cautious estimation is about 6,000 people. 6,000 people. For both days. Yeah. For both days. That's enormously. And how many talks are we talking about? Uh, we had 326 talks. Over 326. One and a half days. Yeah. All right. And not only talks, because I saw some booths as well uh, again this yeah, year. Yeah. I don't have the headcount on the booth with stands, um, but uh, I think it's around 40 stands, yeah. It's gigantic, it's gigantic of course, uh, with, with that amount of uh, uh, stands and amount of people. What was the funniest thing or horrible thing happening at, at Fosden this year? Yeah, I guess as always at first, and the funniest thing is also the most horrible, at least for us as organizers. But we had, I think, the special thing this year was we had someone sleep into in the building um, from Saturday to Sunday, which didn't quite, uh, wasn't quite enjoyed by the people from ULB, but um, we coped with it. Okay, so you slept in the building. Uh, yeah, that's the first time. <laughs> But uh, tell me a bit, because I'm, I'm quite curious, and uh, last year we also uh, talked to each other, but how did FOSTEM came to be? How did it all start? Well, it all started with a single person, Rafael Boudoir, who um, isn't with the team anymore because after seven editions, very understandably, um, his motivation started to drop a bit. Um, it started back then with a single room, and he uh, just had the crazy idea of inviting uh, many of very well-known project leads at that time, and they all said yes, they were all very enthusiastic about it, and 300 people showed up for first edition, and um, the team became bigger and bigger and bigger, and with a bigger team we managed to do, uh, to offer more and more activities, like the developer rooms and the stands, and grow and grow and grow, and yeah, and more and more people every year, so we're trying to cope with it now. All right, so you need a lot of money for that, so you have some sponsors behind you. There are some sponsors, indeed, um, but a very important part of um, what makes um, FOSDEM tick uh, is also the no donations from people. So we don't um, ask for any entrance fee, but we gladly um, accept donations from people. And you get very nice t-shirts, not this one, but very nice t-shirts in return, or books from O'Reilly, and stuff like that. But that, that's really an essential part that gives us the freedom to actually not have to accept, you know, sort of sales stands and talks from from uh, sponsors as you have a bigger event. So the sponsors who, who actually donate to FOSDEM don't get that much in return, and I believe that they all really invest in the value that uh, FOSDEM represents for for open source and free software. Because the commercial influence at FOSDEM is it is it minimal, almost nil. It's nil. Yes. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, t tell me a bit about the future, because uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you're taking more buildings every year but for doing the talks, right? So h how yeah. about the future? We're trying and we have to, because we're a bit um, victims of our own success. So it's being it's getting harder and harder to cope with the amount of people and the amount of projects. And unfortunately, every year we can't accept every request for developer rooms and stands. It's it's sad, but we have to live with that and we definitely have to grow again uh, next year in terms of surface and number of, of buildings and rooms because the amount of people is just unbelievable and yeah, extremely crowded and uh, for my final question this is over and uh, I believe that all of you guys are immensely tired when does the next FOSTEM start for you? Yeah. So we basically start working on it pretty much in September each year September yeah, already. Yeah, we kick it off and it's not work every single day from September to February, luckily, because we all do it during our free time. So it's we're all volunteers, and um, we don't get any financial return uh, from anything we do. So, but the busy phase is say November, December, January, February. All right. All right.
And if, if I would uh, would like to help the FOSM organization, what can they do? Uh, we Several ways, but the most direct way is that we have uh, a core team that consists of pretty much 10 people. Um, uh, where we do most of the stuff behind the scenes before the event. And during the event we have many, many people who help us um, to build up, uh, to um, um, handle speakers at the events, and um, lots and lots of stuff, you know, um, organize network infrastructure and there are many, many things we need help with, such as open source projects. And uh, one way to get involved is to actually contact us when we do a call for volunteers and help out, even if it's just for a couple of hours to manage speakers. Um, it's Every help is more than welcome. More than welcome. Yeah. And of course, if some people want to, want to get really into the nitty gritty and have a lot of time and energy to invest, we're also interested in people who would actually help carrying the event with time. It takes a lot of uh, um, investment of your own time, but if someone's interested. Okay. But always focus, fosdem.org. Okay, what's the address they should send it to? Uh, fosdem.org, we have a contact link on that page, and it's info at fosdem.org. Info at fosdem.org, right. and, and the website www.fosdem.org. No W's. No W's, oh, sorry, fosdem.org. All right. All right. Well, Pascal, thank you for answering my questions. Thank you for organizing again uh, a wonderful event this year. Thanks for coming. And uh, I hope to see you again next year. Yes. Thank you. So. Cheers.